Hello! This is another video done for uni, and this time it's about a book called uh, New Documentary by Stella Boozy. Oh boy! Example of, every, of the major thing that's wrong with a lot of the text that we do. It's an example of why. Why? A lot of us media students don't end up reading a lot of this stuff. See, Stella Bruzzi makes some good points. You know, I mean, I would hope to hell that uh, if she didn't make some good points, she wouldn't be published or respected. But <laughs> I've seen far too many crappy media texts to not know that sometimes people who know nothing slip past the net. You know. Um, and that's the thing here. You're wanting me to make a, docu a short documentary about this. You're wanting me to make cases and stuff like that. But really, I can't about what is wrong with this. What is wrong with this is not something that I can point to another book and say, she's wrong, this person's right. No. I can't do that. What I can do is talk a little bit about how you write a book and how you stop somebody from being bored out of their goddamn minds. Now this is an educational text. It's not exactly supposed to be a thrill ride. It's not supposed to be World War Z. It's not supposed to be uh, Stephen King's It. It's not supposed to be H.P. Lovecraft. You know, it's not supposed to excite me. But, at the same time, you're supposed to be able to expect that somebody might be able to read through this text and absorb what's being said. And not find it so much of a chore, so much of an ordeal to get through. Now, the main problem with Stella Bruzzi is the main problem with a lot of media tech, like I said. She keeps repeating herself. She keeps making points and then just repeating it over and over again. I swear to God, each point she makes, like, e each good point she makes, like, uh, she brings up the Dr. Dramas bring up the question of what why why would uh, of um at what point does fiction stop uh, what at what point does non fiction become fiction? At what point how much can you dramatize a situation until it's not the real story anymore? You know, how much should you? Um, and she doesn't really come to any uh, uh, conclusions about this, but it is important that this question be raised if you're thinking about making a performative documentary. Um, or, or any of the examples she makes, like she brought up the film about strikes in Liverpool for dockers. Uh, she brought up a film about people dressing up as drag in Paris. Okay. Personally, I've never seen that one, but, you know, she talks about it a lot, so I guess it must be good. <laughs> but then, you know, honestly, every time she mentions one of these things, an example, a point that's interesting, she slams it into the ground, she makes it not interesting and not good anymore by just repeating it over and over. She, every point, every example is repeated, elaborated to death for at least four pages. If Stella Bruzzi doesn't talk about something for four goddamn pages, the same goddamn thing, then it was a good day. You know, moral of the story here is, Look, at the end of the day, 
you can't expect like educational tests to be exciting thrill rides, like I said. But at the same time, we shouldn't be expected to just sit there and accept shoddy writing like this. That's my point of view on things. You know, this isn't an impartial documentary, this is my journey through the text, and honestly, I've come out the other side feeling like I've survived an ordeal. An ordeal of stupid repetition. This is Junjo Wallace, reporting for Junjo Cynic News on... Oh god, just... Bye.